Hey ladies and gents, this is Linda Fachik777 and today I'm coming at you with a project that I have created for a friend of mine. She is a photographer and commissions me from time to time to make some thank you cards for her clients. Well, most of you know I don't really like to make just regular cards all the time. I like things to have a purpose. So this particular card is a canvas card. I wanted it to become a piece that they could you know have in their home that they could look at and admire and you know not just hit the circular file you know in a few months so um i'm gonna move my sign out of the way show you what i came up with now the colors for this wedding are kind of like aqua colors real pretty uh, blues and some oranges so here we go this is a six by six canvas i am using one of those um 3d canvases Here's what I came up with. I asked uh, my friend if I could use their photo on this piece. And as you can see it there, what I have done is printed it on transparency. Okay, you guys know I like to do that. So um, that's what I did. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to bring this up and kind of show you a little close up. And then we'll go into some detail. Try to twist and turn to keep the light above from shining on that transparency. I really hope they like it. I tried to make it, you know, feminine but masculine. I do know whenever I create these uh, projects, I am giving a little bit of background of the couple's likes and dislikes. I know they kind of like the outdoors, pretty active, that kind of thing. So um, I tried to, you know, add elements that were kind of outdoorsy as with the little bike <laughs> um, things like that outdoor elements you know brick wall over here I like to you know add clocks in my pieces so that's what I've done with this because I wanted it to give the element of time you know okay and then I'll show you the back all right here's where my card comes into play right here on the back okay and this will sit just straight up on its end okay and what I did is I kind of created like a pocket card on the back so this piece comes out where the thank you note can be written okay so there's that little tidbit I will turn it back around and show you what I have done to create this project now um, what I did, instead of just gluing paper onto the canvas, I did that transfer image technique. Uh, this paper that I use is a real cute little polka dot paper, and it is from the Authentique collection. And what I did is I used like a gel medium, and you know, for those of you who don't really... Um, or haven't seen this technique before you take a gel medium and you paint the canvas the entire canvas where you want it and then you place your paper right side down the paper that you want showing like if it's double-sided you want the side that you want to be seen down onto the fabric and you kind of rub it smooth and rub all the bubbles out and then you let about 24 hours go by and then you take like a wet sponge and you gently start wetting the entire canvas where your pieces are and then you start rubbing off the outside paper, the outside fibers of the paper and then what is left is the paper that you want seen. There's lots of tutorials out here on YouTube with that but um, you know we don't always know where those tutorials are at or search for them so if there's any of you that want to um, see this and how to do it I can certainly show you just let me know you know make a comment on if I get enough comments about it I will certainly put out a video but like I said there are lots of um, tutorials already out there and when you start rubbing on this paper you can see kind of the worn edges those are areas where maybe if you rub a little too hard the actual paper does start to rub off and the canvas will show through but I actually kind of like that because it gives it a nice worn image and it almost gives this like a white washed appearance rather than just gluing the paper onto the canvas it kind of gives it a worn um, look on there like I said, makes it look whitewashed. I really like this technique. 
One of my next projects coming up, I'm going to actually do an image transfer with a transparency because you guys know I like to uh, use transparencies a lot for my photos. So anyway, there is what I did for kind of the background paper on the project on this canvas front and back, okay? And then what I did, as you can see, let's just start with the very center where the photo is. I told you I printed it on transparency. And what I done, this is a heart, wooden heart shape. It came from this shadow box this that I purchased from Saw Crafters on Zibit. And it comes the shadow box, and this is a small heart, because like I said, this is a six by six canvas. The shadow box actually comes with like a back piece, a full plain back piece, and then three um outline shapes of the heart so you can stack the shadow box with one two or three pieces that go on top depending on the thickness of that you want of the shadow box and saw has lots of different you know um, shadow box shapes and stuff in her store um but anyway so what i did is i before i um how am I trying to explain this? Okay, so the first thing I did is I did the paper on the canvas. And then I turned it over and I used this particular uh, wood heart outline from the shadow box on the inside of the canvas. And I traced the shape on the inside, not the outside, or it would have been too big. I traced the heart shape of this wooden heart. And then what I did is I cut that piece out. So then I had like this big heart cut out of my canvas, okay? And then what I did is I took this wooden heart shape and I glued it to the front of that heart opening, okay? And then on the inside, I laid down the transparency, okay? So that it can be kind of seen through the heart. And then underneath, you can't, I'll see how there you can kind of see it now I used this script paper that I had and it was actually like a orange color type script okay and I back that onto the back of the transparency so it gives me kind of the orange color of their wedding photos and then I you know taped both tape that on over to the back of the transparency so that's how I got the look of the photo on the transparency it's not just glued on top it's glued through the back of the opening of the canvas and I hope that was understandable okay alright so that's how I got that so let's start in this upper corner what I've got is since I was doing a clock up here I wanted to add gears and things like that to kind of represent the inner workings of the gears of a clock obviously so I've got some Tim Holtz uh, gears here I've got some chipboard gears from um, saw crafters in here i've got some wooden chipboard gears or not chipboard wooden chipboard oh my gosh some wooden gears from prima and then over here i've got some metal gears from prima the junkyard findings metal gears okay and this as you can see is a tim holtz clock and then over here i've got a bead landing decorative clock hand and then over here you can barely see it let me see if I can move my, I try not to have too much lighting on here because I know we get a lot of, of shine through the photo if I do. But there is a um, Prima clock hand going on right there. Okay. And then on each side, I'm going to put this down one moment and move my light back up a bit so I can get less shine for you. On each side of the heart, these are the Prima Shabby Chic uh, resin hearts and what I did is I uh, turned the hearts over and I traced turn the hearts over boy you guys I'm doing good with my words tonight I turned the wings over and I laid this outer edge of the heart shape on top of the wings and I traced the shape of that and then what I did is I just took um, a tool a shop tool and I cut off kind of the ends of the wings so that I could take the wings and match them right up to the edges of the heart see what I'm saying because I didn't um, 
and you can kind of see it's flush with the canvas because since I was putting the photo through the canvas and laying the wooden heart on top of the canvas, I really couldn't, you know, layer the wings underneath the heart because then I'd have a big gap. So I used the heart as a shape to, you know, shape the ends of the wings and kind of cut part of it off so that I could glue the wings in flush with the shape of the heart, okay? Sorry, my words are a little bit jumbled tonight. A little bit late. Anyway, so then on to, you know how I like to put an X and O on my project. So this is a wooden XO from Saw Crafters. This is a key from my stash, and I'm sorry, I don't know what brand it is. But I kind of layered that over the middle of the heart. I thought it'd be kind of pretty, um, because this is a, you know, beautiful wedding photo. You know, they're like on the beach and it's just a beautiful pose so I kind of you know key to my heart type thing with wings and love so I wanted to lay the key you know so it kind of frames their photo and then over here um, down this right edge here I layer this is a wooden um, banner from saw crafter says beautiful obviously and then on the top I layered one of the prima little flathead screws you know to kind of add some fun a little bit fun like um because this, you know, is for a wedding couple, so I wanted to have kind of a female and male um, type pieces on here so they both could enjoy it. And this is also a um, wooden, beautiful wooden ornate um, word from Saw Crafters. And then this is just a metal word from my stash. And obviously, if you read it all together, it says beautiful destination forever. And I chose the word destination because, like I said, they at the beginning of the vid, they like the outdoor things. And I've got a bike on there, like, you know, their wedding and their love is heading to their, you know, it's their destination. It's their destiny type thing. So I went with that theme. And then over here, kind of underneath it, this is a part of a chipboard brick wall from Saw Crafters that I kind of cut up and used on there. On the end of this metal word, I kind of drilled a tiny little hole and I added a little jump ring there and then I added this bead landing lock charm to hang from that little wooden word. So you know you've got a key and a lock. Underneath that on top of the little uh, brick wall there, I've got a little Prima clock. And then I have a little um, bead landing, you can barely see it, but there is a little tiny bead landing clock hand right there. And then over here underneath the forever, I've got a little Tim Holtz gear. And then I've got some beautiful like wild orchid craft and I am Rose's flowers here. And on the top of this uh, wild orchid craft flower, I added some um, glossy accents and then I added some um, German glass glitter to kind of give it a little bit of, you know, yummy texture there. This is the little I Am Roses uh, crocheted flower. Underneath all that I've got this beautiful lace that Violet gifted me a long time ago. Thank you Violet. Hi honey. Um, she's uh, 48 scrapping here on YouTube. Just a beautiful lace. Over on this left side of the heart, this is also a wooden piece from Saw Crafters, a penny farthing. And then I layered another Prima clock on top with Prima clock hands. Um, and I wanted like a trio of clocks, so that's why you see a lot here. So I've got clock here, kind of a clock here, a clock over here, kind of to, you know, outline and frame the picture in the center as well. And then all around the decor, they had like little lovebirds. And this is kind of the closest I had, the little um, Prima wooden birds. So I kind of added these underneath the clock to kind of give them that little bit of a lovebird theme that they had at their wedding. Okay, so there is the front of my canvas card. All right, and so now let's flip it over and head to the back. Okay, so this is the actual card I created on the back. Let me take this out here. All this paper, by the way, is from Recollections. It's that port, is it Portobello Road? Let me just double check real quick here for you. Yep, Portobello Road from Recollections because it has lots of blues and stuff in that pack. I, it's it's kind of one of my favorites. I've got lots of favorites, but it's one of them for the blue colors. Um, 
So what I did after um, I layered this polka dot paper on the back of the canvas, then I took a piece of chipboard, okay? And then I took this Portobello Road paper. I sewed and distressed the edges and I glued it to the chipboard. And then I took the Authentique paper and I, um, actually before I glued this piece down, one moment please, back it up rewind before I glued this piece down to the chipboard I sewed it distressed it like I said and then I took a piece of this authentic paper to make a pocket and I um, took a piece up here and a piece of the orange script paper that's underneath the photo and I used some large scallop scissors to make that scallop and I just kind of made a cute little scallop across the top of the pocket there and then I took that and I sewed everything to this one large stripe piece and then I glued it to the chipboard okay um, before I glued the chipboard down I have this beautiful sheer ribbon I tied it around that and made it into a bow and then I glued that whole piece down so it's all one unit and then to the center of the bow I added um, I think this is a prima flower Anyway, I added a Prima flower. In the back here, I've got a beautiful orange wheat spray and some real pretty blue candy gems. These are from the Piece by Piece. And then what I did underneath is I have these were actually earrings, but they look like wedding ring rings to me. So I hung them from chain underneath the flower so it will kind of dangle. Okay. And then I created this little card front and back paper, sewed it to stress the edges. This is where she'll write her thank you note. And then on the back has my information. Okay. And then it just kind of stuffs inside the pocket. And then she's got her card. And then the couple has their home decor piece. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you. I hope you like it. Thanks for sharing your time with me. And I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.